<laughs> this is the first East Coast appearance of this band, the Sons of Vicks. And they uh, used to be called the Sons of Vicks. And uh, <laughs> certain places they still are, somebody says. And as uh, I think uh, some of you know from the program, this is the year of Bix. And so without further ado, I'm going to turn the program over to the sons of Bix. Thank you. 
Thank you. We are the Sons of Bixes, and we'll uh, have you meet these SOBs individually right now. Back here on the drums from uh, the Windy City of Chicago, Glenn Koch. Also one of those back-of-the-yard people from Chicago, uh, John Harker on clarinet. Former Chicagoan, now up in Syracuse, New York, on bass sax, Russell Whitman. And then there's three of us uh, from the Michigan Mafia. We have uh, back here on guitar, and he'll also play some banjo along the way here. That's Dave Miller from Grand Rapids. And uh, right over here, our little cornet picker who comes from the thriving metropolis of Montague, Michigan, Tom Pletcher. Uh, my name is Don Engel. I come from the very thriving metropolis of Baldwin, Michigan, which is a very small town up in the north country there. And when you say small, you have to have some scale so you can, you know, get an idea. Our town is so small that our local Dairy Queen is a catalog store. And we just sent out an order to this next fellow in Golden, Colorado. That is the instigator, the guy that kind of got this all going, putting a part of his Al Capone Memorial Jazz Band together with our Michigan Jack Pine Savages, and that's Donald Gibson on piano. <laughs> now you know who we are. We're not going to explain what we are. But anyway, we're going to do a little tune uh, very appropriate because it, uh, it's all about this here state of Virginia, and it's called I'm Coming, Virginia.
As you may have noticed, we play uh, a few of the uh, big tunes. As a matter of fact, uh, probably about 90% of what we'll be doing while we're over here will be tunes that uh, Bix recorded. And the other 10% were tunes that we think that if Bix had ever recorded them, he would have probably liked them too anyway. But we're going to do one now. It goes back to the uh, Whiteman days. Uh, this is a little town a uh, little tune that uh, Tom always gives me a bad time about because uh, being up from northern Michigan, I call it Barneo, but it's Borneo. But uh, that's, that's the way it goes. Yes! I'm going to dedicate this to Elmo Beardsley from Ovid, Michigan, yeah. wherever he is. Here's a uh, dandy from Mr. Handy. This is a uh, tune that uh, was featured in 
One of our very first albums, ladies and gentlemen, was called, uh, the tune is called Careless Love, and the album was Music for Careless Lovers. I don't know if I didn't know. Anyway, it's uh, Careless Love.
this one for a good friend of ours who just walked in the back door there a minute ago. He's around there someplace. We saw the fine head of hair of one Spiegel Wilcox, the squire of Cincinnati, the only man in the world who gets a letter that says Spiegel in a zip code and it is delivered with unerring accuracy. Of course, he's the only guy in the lives in the town and he's the postmaster, so what do you expect? <laughs> Anyway, we're going to do a tune, and uh, we're going to dedicate this to Spiegel because he played on the uh, original record oh, of it. No, he, didn't. he didn't do that. No, he would have liked to. He would have liked to. <laughs> All right, he played the arrangement, though I know that. So he knows the tune. He knows the tune. Are you kidding? He knew his mother. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're going to do the. Uh, well, well, we have to set the mood for this. We're going to take you back in time, ladies and gentlemen. The year is uh, 19 and. Uh, about 27 there, and it's uh, in the city of uh, Detroit, Michigan. 
And it's the Greystone Ballroom, and they've got a bunch of those uh, little silly lights up there and mirrors and things flashing around there. And, and if you look out very carefully up on the stand, you can see the Gene Gold Kit, Victor Recording Orchestra, getting set to play their latest hit of the period. They sold oh, probably 15, 16 dozen of these records. It was Alley Cat, wasn't it? And then when, then when people 25 years later found out what nice thing it was, you couldn't buy one because you couldn't afford it. But anyway, here it is, Clementine. Uh, do you uh, do you have our time schedule there? 
What time are we due to depart the stand? One more. Very good. We don't want to take away from the next crew coming up because we want to hear them ourselves. So, uh, yes, I think uh, I think that's probably no, no. I think uh, fidgety, fidgety. Yes, fidgety feet. Thank you. 
Thank you. We are. Thank you. We're going to. Uh, well, thank you. We're going to fold our tents and uh, turn things back over to Fat Cat, and he's going to tell you where we're going from here. Thank you, Don. Just a little bit of intelligence that probably everybody here knows, but uh, a couple of the members of this band up here are sons of famous jazz men of the past. Tommy Pletcher's father was Stu Pletcher, who played trumpet with Red Novo in a number of bands for a long number of years, and uh, so his talent comes fairly naturally. Don Ingalls father's name was Red Engel and I hate to tell you but the song that I remember the most from Red Engel was smoke 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 that cigarette you know that kind of thing <laughs> and wild women so actually uh, the tradition is here with all of these guys Ron Hockett tells me that uh, Yutch Harker is the same age of the of Stu Pletcher and uh, Red Engel, so, you know, he's in the other generation. I don't know that that's true or not. <laughs> the Sons of Vicks, how about that? <laughs> 